Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I'd like to offer you some charts today, some foreign exchange charts to look at. And the first one I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. Here we have a bearish black marabazo yesterday, a seen reassertion of the over the weekend bearish harami and pipe top action, rather than the previous session's wannabe bull hammer action that ended up failing. The market back below the neckline for the recent cathedral head and shoulders top. And that's uh, 109.72, and right on the nearby recent 61.8% Fibonacci line of 110.62. Today, we're a little lower, and we simply have nothing really supportive until some minor congestion in the 108.80 area. And that isn't that great either. The old gap and congestion between 108.20 and 107.77 seems to be the next significant level below. The next chart to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A small bearish engulfing pass yesterday, not really that much of a surprise after two prior sessions of an indecisive spinning top and an indecisive doji cross, respectively. Additionally, yesterday, the market balked at advancing further towards the overhead long moving average currently at 126.62. And it also balked at trying to move down through the key recent 50 cent Fibonacci line at 123.04. Today, we're still caught within the range of each day of this week so far. The next chart to look at is Euro against Sterling. A lower but still indecisive spinning top yesterday to partner the previous session's indecisive doji cross. It was nevertheless the first close below the big 50% from an arch line at 88.87 for the recent action from December 2019 through to March 2020 that I've mentioned here before. Today we're trying lower again, but still within yesterday's range so far. Now, back to the idea I've mentioned a few times now, that the last two weeks may be a top of sharp double top action. If that turns out to be the case, and it's still early on that, then we may have an initial target X on the downside in the 86 and a half area. Watch carefully to see if this plays out, as below we have the long moving average, currently at 87.48, so caution. Next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Indian rupee. A higher, but bearish black crow yesterday. But that's not the main feature. It is instead today's big action. Currently a bullish open and close along white Marabozo action, which has a, made a new all-time high and may make a new all-time high close as well. The recent pretty rare two-day descending hawk pattern turned out to be seemingly statistically correct, and it was bullish. Keep watching as the action over the next few days could give us a significant clue to the future. The final chart to look at is the US dollar against the Brazilian real. A fourth small bullish white soldier yesterday. I suppose you could call it a bullish opening white soldier. Anyway, the market gapped higher and rose to make a new high and new high close. Interestingly, it was based after gapping higher on the significant projected 50% Fibonacci line at 522.26 that I had highlighted before. Finally, I've drawn a nascent small March-based bullish shift pitchfork. The market is currently in between the lower time, currently 520.01, and the middle time, currently at 544.17. We'll see how that fares in the coming days. That about wraps it up. So in the meantime, good trading and stay safe in the markets and in real life.